We're now going to talk about a new vocabulary term that we'll start using in this section and that vocabulary term is function. If I say the attendance at FIU's baseball game is a function of the weather, I mean the attendance depends on the weather. In math, the word function means much the same thing. In our previous section of the text, we looked at linear equations. For example, this is a linear equation. In this particular problem, y depends on x. For example, if I asked you to tell me what y equals, I would first have to tell you what x equals. If I told you x is 1, you could then tell me that y is 7. If I told you that x was 3, you could then tell me that y is 11. But y depends on x. In math, we say y is a function of x. Now, actually, in math, function means a little bit more than just depends on. In math, to be a function, y has to depend on x in a unique way where the word unique means exactly one. So for y to be a function of x mathematically, each x has to give you exactly one y. And that is the case in this problem. Now, mathematicians give functions names, but not names like Susana or Umberto. We name functions with letters like f or g. So if I were to take this function y equals 2x plus 5 and name it f, then the way that I would write that f takes the number 1 and corresponds it to the number 7 is that, which we pronounce f of 1 equals 7. Similarly, the fact that x equals 3 corresponds to y equals 11 would be written as f of 3 equals 11. Now, please note that even though we write the f and the 1 next to each other with no sign between them, this does not mean f times 1. And if you think about it, it would make no sense to think of this as multiplication. 1 is a number, but f is not a number. f is a name. Can you multiply Jose times 1? Of course not. So this is not f times 1. 1 is a number. It's an x value f of 1 is a number. It's the y value that corresponds to the x value of 1. In other words, f of 1 and 7 are two different names for the same y value. f of 3 and 11 are two different names for the same y value. The x value is 3. We can call the y value either f of 3 or 11. Now, we can also use function notation for the equation y equals 2x plus 5. Another way of writing that is f of x equals 2x plus 5. So what does y stand for in the equation at the top of the screen? It stands for the number obtained by starting with x, multiplying it by 2, and then adding 5. What does f of x stand for in the equation at the bottom of the screen? It stands for the number obtained by starting with x, multiplying it by 2, and adding 5. In other words, y and f of x are two different notations for the same thing. And we can use y and f of x interchangeably. All right, let's do an example of a type of problem you'll encounter in the homework. The directions say, write a linear cost function, identify all variables used. Willie subscribes to the NetMovie site that costs $5 to become a member and then $2 for each movie downloaded. Well, let's start by identifying the variables. One thing that can vary here is the number of movies Willie downloads. He could download 10 movies, he could download 15 movies, he could download 23 movies. The number of movies that he downloads can vary. 
So let's call that X. X is the number of movies downloaded. Now, a second thing that's going to vary here is how much he pays, which we call his cost. And I'm going to use C to denote cost. It's going to be measured in dollars. So, for example, if Willie downloaded zero movies, if X is zero, what would his cost be? Not zero, because remember he had to pay a $5 membership fee. So even if he downloads no movies at all, his cost is going to be $5. What's his cost if he downloads one movie? Well, it's going to be his membership fee plus the $2 it costs to download the movie. If he downloads two movies, his costs are going to be his membership costs plus two times that $2 download fee. If he downloads three movies, his costs are going to be five plus two times three, the $2 download fee times the three movies, and so on. So in general, Notice that C in our second column is always equal to the membership price plus two times the number of movies downloaded. But remember, we're calling the number of movies downloaded X. And so the linear cost function here is C equals 5 plus 2X. So that's the answer to write a linear cost function. And the answer to identify all variables used were the first two lines I wrote here. Now, let me mention that you could write the answer like this. Here, this is an equally good answer. C of x equals 5 plus 2x. Both equations at the bottom say cost equals 5 plus 2x, the download fee, excuse me, the membership fee plus 2 times the download fee, or x times the download fee, then the only difference is that the second equation at the bottom emphasizes that the cost depends on x. C is the cost, C of x is the cost with the additional information that it is a function of x that it depends on x. Now, in your My Math Lab homework, they often just ask you to write the right half of the equation. So, for example, in a My Math Lab problem, when it asks you for the linear cost function, it's going to give you c of x equals, and then there will be a box for you to type your answer in and you would type 5 plus 2x or 2x plus 5 that's fine as well right the order in which we add things doesn't make a difference but I caution you that since the tests are not online when it comes time to answer a problem like this on the test you have to remember to write the c of x equals it's not going to be given to you like it is in my labs plus